It's currently before six. I'm so tired. I don't get up at this time normally, ever. And yeah, I'm heading out for a little drive to get some photos. So let's get to it. So today I am on my way to a little village on the other side of Dublin called Inish Kerry. It is currently the, being made up or has been made up um, to be the set for Enchanted 2. So I've seen lots of pictures and videos and stuff coming out on social media and I really want to go and see it and take some of my own photos. I've been wanting to go to Wicklow for a while and uh, get some pictures and things of Wicklow Mountain National Park. Um, so it was kind of a nice excuse to have them rolled in because Inishkeria is actually just kind of on the edge of that. So it was nice. I'll pop down walk about for a bit, see what's what, snap some photos and then head off into the mountains and see what we can get there. Let's get back on the map, back on the road. Welcome to the internet, come and take a seat Would you like to see the news or any famous women's feed? There's no need to panic, this isn't a test Just nod or shake your head and we'll do the rest Could I interest you in everything all of the time? A little bit of everything all of the time Apathy's a tragedy and boredom is a crime Anything and everything and anything and everything and anything and everything and all of the time For this part of the video, I'm just going to show you what I saw in Inish Kerry. I'm going to do a bit of a walk around and you'll see what I see as I take photos. And I'll pause briefly to show you some of them. It was a lovely half hour spent just wandering and exploring, so I just wanted to share some of those highlights. It was really interesting and it's been really fun to do this, so I hope you enjoy it too. It was really cool to walk around and see all the shop fronts and how they were dressed up to fit into the world of the movie instead. On the day this was just a normal spa shop where I bought a drink but for the movie it looks like it's dressed up to be a furniture shop. All the quirky names for them was really fun as well so look out for those. Further on down we get to see a pigeon post building for the movie but actually this was a little pub and restaurant. On the sign outside it, which you'll see shortly, um, it's a little community notice board and we see several references to Mon Relais's finest this, Mon Relais's finest that. And it was cool to see the detail of the world building here. So you can see all the various wand and potion services mentioned. One big thing of note here is the place name Mon Relaysia. This is significant because from what Disney have said about the movie so far, it follows Giselle and her family many years after the first movie, and they've moved to a new suburb called Monroeville. A spell is cast that goes wrong and it endangers everything, including her homeland of Andalasia too. So with Monroeville being a portmanteau of Monroeville and Andalasia, are we going to see those two worlds crash and combine? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. 
one of the biggest changes that I only actually noticed after I left was this large Tudor style building and it's a tavern for the movie. It was completely fabricated for the movie and the original section of the street looks nothing like this as you can see here. They even go as far as obviously building those three roof gabled parts. All the shop fronts have lovely details that are very Art Nouveau inspired, from the fonts and the embellishments to all the door and window surrounds, having lovely flowing organic lines, loops, swishes and swirls. Have you been looking out for all those little shop names? What ones did you spot? Did you see the magic carpet shop? So that wraps up this video guys, thank you so much for coming on this little adventure with me, hopefully it was interesting for you. Hit that like button and let me know your favourite bit in the comments. It was a really good day out for me and I got lots of nice photos and it was lovely to see the village decorated and I can't wait to see the movie on Disney Plus to see what those final shots look like. Particularly of the building that you saw with the blue screen around the roof edge, I'll be interested to see what they're going to add digitally to that part. It seems to have some stained glass windows on the facade, so maybe a castle? I guess we'll see soon enough. I'm hopefully going to bring you a part 2 to this because I wanted to show you the rest of the journey on that day. From Inishkerry I continue my trip and go through the Wicklow Mountains, so come join me on that adventure too. Hit the subscribe button and don't miss out whenever I release it. See you soon.